Good morning. I don't even know where to get started. <laughs> it is beautiful outside. And everything just seems to be going in this direction. And it's things that I've said before several times, actually. <laughs> but maybe there's some people out there that, you know, need to be reminded or maybe they've not heard it before. You know, like I say, sometimes this could be the very first video that they see. And I've, I don't know how many I've got, <coughs> excuse me, uploaded now. But here lately I've not been um, doing videos as much as I had been. I gotta switch this over to cool. It is really warm today. Like it is probably fixing to snow like crazy because <laughs> it is so warm. It gets really warm right before it snows. many things and wanting to um, <clears throat> you know like fix things and like I worry about people and I freak out and I feel like a failure and I feel like I don't help anybody and I'm not doing any good and I only make things worse and like my heart's in the right place and I really want to help, but it's like I just wreck everything and make it so much worse. And that goes along with what's on my mind today, what this video is going to be about. And I've been thanking God because He's helped me to lay it down and let go of it. And the thing about it is, is sometimes, you know, God will help us and we'll lay things down. And then we'll turn around and we'll pick them right back up. And that's not trusting Him. And He's not... I feel that he's not going to move, he's not going to take care of everything until we fully trust him and we let go and we say, God, this is yours, it's in your hands, I trust you, have your way, and when we can finally get to that point of truly trusting him and truly having faith and truly understand, you know, have that clarity of, okay, I can't do this, when we can accept and know and take that responsibility of, you know, I'm just human and I have no control over any of this. God, you know what to do. You know what's best. You know what's right. You have a plan. I trust you. I know you're going to take care of me. I know you're going to work things out perfectly. You have a perfect plan. God, just have your way. And if you remember, those of you um, that are Bible readers will know that Jesus, before the soldiers came and took him, he prayed and he said, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but thy will be done. He prayed, he wanted God to take that from him. But he said, your will, not mine. And I think that's such an important place. And that's when things just open up and doors open and the devil loses all power when we start praying for God's will. I'm trying to get pulled out on the highway. But this morning, as you know, I mentioned a lot of times I listen to T.D. Jakes in the mornings. And, of course, it went right along with the video that I was doing, or that I had on my mind. And what it was, is he was talking about the 
provision is there and it's in your purpose. And he mentioned about how, in other words, it made me think of this, is how the devil will tell us so much. He will lie to us and tell us so many things. And this is why I said at the first of this video that I'm going to be repeating things. I'm going to be reminding you know, myself and you as well of things that I've mentioned before, but you are who God says you are. I'm who God says I am. And I know I've mentioned in the past of how I've had insecurities and the devil's told me all kinds of stuff that I'm not good enough, that I can't help anybody, just blah, 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 blah. I can't do anything. That's the devil. We are who God says we are. And when we're saved, we are a child of the king. We have a great purpose. We are royalty. We are not who the devil says we are. We're not who such and such says we are or whatever. We are who God says we are. And he has called us all. Everybody that he saves. And he wants to save everybody. But once he saves you. He has called you into a great work. Get in your Bible and read it. It's there. Proof of it. He says that. We are called into a great work. He has a purpose for you. And the devil will do everything he can to keep you from that purpose. And I can't really even see my phone right now because of the sun. But, um, let me see if I can move it a little bit. Maybe you can see me a little bit better. But uh, I'm stopped now. Of course, I'm not still driving. But it, I had to tell God this morning, I was like, God, I'm not, I'm not trying to laugh, you know, at this. But it's crazy the stuff that the devil does. It's crazy the lies that he tells. It's crazy the tricks that he pulls. Just crazy stuff. And I'm like, God, he's just... I don't know. I'm like, God, you're going to have the victory. You're going to have your glory. And I have peace in knowing that. Peace in knowing that I don't have to worry about anything. That God's going to take care of it. That he's heard my prayers. And that's what I want to remind you of. Is God has heard your prayers. He knows your heart. He's heard. He has collected every tear. And he loves you. And he's going to take care of it. And what he has given you. What he has put in your heart. He's not changed his mind. He's still the same forever. We're the ones that change. He is going to finish what he started. It doesn't matter the lies the devil tells you. It doesn't matter the nonsense the devil pulls. He's going to fight you. And the closer you get to your purpose, the closer you get to God, and the closer you get to that greatness that he has for you and doing, you know, his will, the devil's going to fight you harder. But we've got help and we've got tools. Excuse me. And when you let go and when you trust God and you say, God, this is yours. Take it. I can't do it. The devil loses his power. He loses his control over you and you can have peace. So don't worry about all this stuff. Don't be worrying about what's going on in the world. Like there's people right now that are terrified, that are worried to death. Because what's going on in our world. And we don't have to worry about it. If you have the blood applied. If you have accepted Christ as your personal savior. You don't have to worry about anything. Because you know who's in control. You know who holds tomorrow. And you know who's going to have the victory. And who's going to have his glory. You don't have to worry about it. I love you guys. I've got to get some stuff done. I've got to get to the shop. And just be happy and have peace. Just know God's going to take care of it. And I pray that if there's something that you're holding on to that's holding you back, that you're worried about, I pray that you let that go, that you give that over to God. You trust Him and know that He's going to take care of it. But I love you guys. I'll be praying for you. Please be praying for me. If you are seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. Pages like, share. If there's somebody you think maybe that this can help, please share that to them. If I can just help one person, then that's great. I feel like I have a story and I'm meant to share 
I'm meant to help people and I'm going to try my best, but I fail every single day. I fail God every day. I'm just um, another sinner saved by grace, and I just want to try to do my part, try to shed some light, try to be that light that I'm supposed to be. So if it can help anybody, you know, just one person, that's great. But you guys have a great day and a great week. Hopefully I'll see you soon and just hang in there and keep fighting. I love you guys. I'll see you later.